I'm John Sterling. I'm Richard Price's editor, and uh, we're here to talk about The Whites, um, which Richard has written under the name Harry Brandt. The Whites is an instantly intriguing title, but to somebody who hasn't read the book, they're not going to know what it means. Um, talk a little bit about it without giving out a, a way to Well, it. basically the concept of a white, it's, it's something um, I've, I've noticed that so many detectives are obsessed with just one case. And it's if, and they're obsessed with it because it's never been solved, or they know who the doer was, who the actor was, but for some reason he just slipped through the hands of justice. If justice has hands, I don't know that. But, um, and it becomes, they become like Ahab, and the one that got away is the white whale, the elusive white whale. And they'll go into retirement with, uh, legal boxes that they quote unquote stole from the precinct that everybody's so happy to see those legal boxes go with this guy retiring because they don't have to hear about this anymore because there's been 90,000 crimes since this crime. And they'll take them home and they'll go down to the basement, you know, after dinner or on the weekend, they'll throw back a couple of beers, they'll start and they'll go through the files and say, hey, nobody called this uh, guy in the cafeteria. Because uh, we think that the killer um, had a cup of coffee in his cafeteria. Why didn't anybody, you know, so now the guy in the cafeteria, who was 21 at the time, is now a father of six and a lawyer, you know, um, and uh, it's, they grow old with the case. They'll think about the case till the day they die. And it's galling that this person got away. Or there was something, because these guys will also, because they're detectives and they have to deal with a number of felonies every week, over the years they've got hundreds of cases and many of them will be more, more uh, tragic than the one they're obsessed with. Not that three deaths is less tragic than one death. And so why this case? And the mystery is what in them responded mm -hmm. to this crime, this scenario, and this doer? Because these people can show up, you know, there'll be like, you know, four dead people in, in an abandoned apartment that were executed, and he'll, won't, won't bat an eye, and, you know, some woman got shot on a highway um, by an unknown sniper, and he's haunted by that. And for each guy, it's different. It's like fingerprints or snowflakes or whatever cliche. And so it's about the big fish that got away. Yeah, the, well, the yeah. white, it's basically a metaphor for, yeah. you know, yeah. the white Gregory whale. Peck and uh, who played the whale? Orson Welles, you <laughs> know. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it, the yeah. whites is the metaphor f for the great ungrabbable. Mm -hmm. 